abuse the daily cooldown in the War Within, and take advantage of the most passive style gold farm. You have a time gated item. And the best part is you only need to be crafting level of 30 for you to be able to start making base, making it a perfect strategy for an alt army. Let's get into it. Dusk Weave and Dawn Weave Bolts. These are time gated. Each one of these you can only make 10. But with this specialization, you can hold 30 charges each, and also you can have them come up faster, allowing you to be able to craft more of these over a 24 hour period. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna make sure you get your character's tailoring level up to level 25. To get to level 25 tailoring, refer to the shopping list on screen. Keep in mind that you can buy the moss wool thread from the supply vendors. They're gonna sell it for 11 gold. And then the storm dust is gonna be the enchanting dust. So when, uh, uh, enchanters DE items. That's the basic item they're going to get from it. So you can buy that on the auction house, or if you have an alt enchanter, you can get it from them. You only need about 10 of those to be able to craft enough to get to 25. And then boom, once you're 25, you can start your farm. Now we do have specializations unlocked. Go ahead and train all the recipes that are available on your trainer. And we'll come back to those in just a second. So when we head over to specializations, this is where we really are able to start getting into our farm. We're going to pick up from dawn until dusk. This is where we're able to learn both Duskweave and Dawnweave cloth. And immediately on picking the specialization, we're gonna to get to pick either Duskweave tailoring or Dawnweave tailoring. Take a look on the auction house to see which one is selling for more, and that's when you wanna start with, but we are gonna be target farming both of these. So really picking one over the other at the start is not that big of a deal. In this example, I'll go ahead and use Dawnweave. Now you'll notice at this point that we have access to the Dawnweave craft. As soon as we unlock this, we wanna go ahead and make at least one of these to make sure that this never sits at 10. We wanna keep this less than 10 at all times. It's gonna reset every 16 hours at this point. But as we're working our way through the specialization, we're gonna make this cooldown a lot shorter. Now, objective number one is to take this node all the way up to level 30. That's because at level 30, we are able to learn the other subspecialization where we're able to get Dusk Weave tailoring. Now, with the process of getting this all the way up to level 30, we want to craft everything that we haven't crafted just yet. So, for example, the Exquisite Weave Cloth Bolt, we're going to need that for when we make our Dawn Weave and our Dusk Weave. So we'll definitely want to make that to be able to take advantage of the first craft bonus. Every time you make something for the first time, you will get a skill point that you can allocate to your specializations. Now sitting at a base level, we're gonna have seven tailoring knowledge points at this point. We're gonna have to rely on treasures, profession weeklies, and these first crafting bonuses for us to be able to increase our profession skill or our profession knowledge. On the release of the expansion, I will have a guide in the description going over all ways that we can increase our tailoring knowledge and all profession knowledge for that matter. Take a look in the description for that. Now, as we're completing those weeklies and gaining more knowledge points, this is exactly how we want to allocate those points. Objective number one is for us to go ahead and complete the original node. This is going to allow us to pick up the other type of cloth that we didn't pick first. And also along the way, we'll get 15 skill and ingenuity from these three nodes. We'll learn Dawn Weave Reagent Bags, Dusk Weave Bag, and then also, of course, we'll get our final specialization, our final sub-specialization on this node. Go ahead and pick up your Dusk Weave Tailoring, and now you're going to see that we have both of the bolts available to us. Now notice this, when I create one of the Dawn Weave Bolts, it does not consume the charge of the Duskweave bolt, okay? And then it does go on a 17 hour cooldown for us to get that charge back. We can lower this. So we have 20 charges available to us ac spread across the two different bolts. Now, if we continue down our specialization tree, we want to continue spe specking into either Dawnweave tailoring or Duskweave tailoring. And we want to take it up to the 15 15 knowledge point mark. Now, depending on when you're seeing this, you can start to specialize in whichever whichever cloth is lacking on your server. Again, we are focusing both of these, so we're just unlocking one before the other, but if you do notice that one is selling more, go ahead and focus on that one first. So we would apply 15 points into the cloth of our choice. In this case, we're doing Dawn Weave apply these changes, and we're gonna get along the way 10 ingenuity, and then also we also get to make another Grips of the Woven Dawn, which is gonna convert into just more knowledge points for us if we make one of these crafts. Now, 
once we get down to this subspecialization, and now that we have 15 points in here, we're going to go ahead and learn it. First, remember, we have a cap of 10 and on a 17 hour cooldown per craft. After we learn this subspecialization, notice it's now at 11 hours and 58 minutes. So it does reduce it by five. So we get five of those hours back for each one of our crafts. Now, before we want to start specializing into Dawn Weaving specifically, we want to double our Dusk Weave by doing the exact same thing. We're going to apply 15 knowledge points and we gain the same benefits that we did on the other side. And now we can specialize into dusk weaving. Our farm looks a lot different. We have 20 and 20 available to us on a 12 hour cooldown. This is where we definitely want to get to as quickly as we can. Now, because this is our main focus, we're going to continue inside of this tree. Completing from dawn until dusk is our main priority though. We want to make sure we're maxing out this entire tree. We're going to max dawn weaving and then we're going to max dusk weaving. Feel free to adjust that based on your AH and the demand on your server. Now take a look at what that's going to give us. So we do gain an additional 30 multi-craft, an additional five skill when we're making Dawn Weave. This one right here, further improve your connection to Dawn Weave. Let's take a look at how that adjusts the cooldown. Now we've reduced our cooldown to eight hours and 25 minutes compared to Dusk Weave, which we didn't specialize into, is still sitting around the 12 hour mark. So you can see where the priority really is on maxing out these final nodes for both of the types of cloth. This is gonna make it so we're able to craft these a lot more often by decreasing the hour cooldowns. Finally, just to take full advantage of our farm, we're gonna to wanna to just increase, we're just gonna finish both of the secondary nodes for each of these. This is gonna give us additional skill and ingenuity when making these items specifically. And then also a specific craft that is tied to Dawn Weave and Dusk Weave. Once we have reached this point, we've maxed out this tree and we want to start moving into a secondary specialization. Now, depending on how much you want to invest in this character, you would at this point want to start moving to level 50 on your tailoring skill. Once you reach level 50, you're going to be able to pick another subspecialization or another specialization. So to get to level 50, we can make exquisite weaver cloth bolt. We're going to be using a lot of these on a daily basis, so I do recommend leveling up by making this and making as many as you can. You just want to stock up on these and depending on how many different, depending on how many ults you're doing, you're just going to need more and more of these because this is a repeatable farm you can do on as many ults as you possibly can. These will continue giving you levels until you reach the level of 50. Now that we're level 50, we're going to go ahead and head on back over to our specializations and we're going to pick textile treasures as our next specialization. Now this time we're taking a different tactic. We're not going to go with the original node to start with. And the reason for that is, is because this really shines if you're playing the character a lot. Now, if you are playing the character a lot, if this is going to be your main character and you're taking it out there in the world, then you go ahead and invest in this because it increases the amount, the chance of you finding cloth on the mobs that you fight. Now, if you're not going to be playing this character a lot, like this character, then what you want to do is you want to head over to less is more. This is going to increase the multi-craft and the potency of multi-craft on all of your crafts of the Dawn Weave and Dusk Weave. And we're, we're going to want to go a full 30 points inside of this subspecialization. Only after we complete our first tree from dawn until dusk. You can pick up just the sub-specialization. You're going to gain that benefit, but you don't want to start allocating points here just yet. Now all we have to do is to double down in this strategy. There's another passive income profession with alchemy, and I have a guide in the description that goes over exactly how we want to spec our character to take advantage of the daily cooldowns available to alchemists. It will take you a while to get to this point on your tailor. If anything changes between now and when War Within releases, I'll make a follow-up guide on that and cover the changes. If the video did help you out today, please heroic strike that like button. If you want to stay tuned for more WoW content in the future, please bash the subscribe. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.